Welcome to Accessible Coconut Tutorial Series. In this segment, we are going to talk about the fundamentals of using screen reader in Accessible Coconut operating system. A screen reader is an assistive technology mainly used by people with vision impairments. It converts text, buttons, images, and other such screen elements into speech or braille. In Accessible Coconut Operating System, the screen reader we use is Orca, which is free and open source. The name Orca is another term for a killer whale. Naming screen readers after aquatic animals is a curious tradition followed by many. By default, Orca will be on when we turn on the system. This is the welcome tune we hear when we turn on the system. When Orca is on as usual, we hear it as an announcement right after the welcome tune like this. But if Orca is not on due to any reason, only the welcome tune will be played. In that case, we can turn Orca on with the key combination we are about to see. So, let's examine how to switch on or switch off Orca. For that, we can use the key combination Alt, Windows key and S. Left off. We used that combination and now the screen reader is off. Now let's use it again. Screen reader on. Desktop. Out of view. Now the screen reader is on. So essentially, this combination is used to toggle the screen reader. This combination is used to completely stop all the functions of the screen reader. Thus, this can be used when no services of Orca are needed. For instance, when handing over the system to a sighted person to use. Next, to simply disable or enable the speech function of Orca, we can use the key combination Insert S. We used it and now the speech is disabled. Now let's use it again. The speech is back. This combination does not stop all the activities of Orca, it only silences the speech. All other activities of the screen reader like structural navigation will be carried out. This can be used when we need to just silence Orca for a while, maybe to play a song. Or when a sighted person does not want the speech but still likes to use the structural navigation service. Structural navigation is a way to easily navigate through documents. We will talk about it in detail in the coming segments. Next, let's examine how to replace Orca. For that, we can use the key combination Alt, Windows key and O. Left Alt, Screen Reader Off, Screen Reader On, Desktop, Out of View. When we pressed that combo, screen reader turned off and then automatically turned on. This combination is useful when Orca is not functioning properly or stopped functioning inexplicably. Next, let's see the key combinations to change the volume, pitch and rate of speech of the screen reader. To increase the screen reader volume, we can use the key combination insert and home key and to decrease we can use insert and end key insert and home key louder 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 insert and end key softer 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 now to increase the pitch that is to give a higher pitched sound we can use insert and right arrow key and to decrease it insert and left arrow key Insert and right arrow key. Higher, higher. Insert and left arrow key. Lower, lower. Then, to increase the rate or speed of the voice, 
we can use insert and up arrow key and to decrease it insert and down arrow key insert and up arrow key faster 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 insert and down arrow key slower 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 now if there are any suggestions or doubts regarding this video please leave a comment